Welcome to Frenchie Live and Lanky. Before we begin, make sure you put your phone on silent and don't film any of the fucking show. He's come all the way from the gong. He looks like an anemic giraffe. Ladies and gentlemen, start fucking clapping for Frenchie! Thank you, thank you for that one. How you guys going? How you going in the back? All right, front, how you guys going? You're brave sitting at the front. Ooh, who's gonna be my victim? Not yet, we'll get there, don't worry. Shut the fuck up, don't even start. I don't give a fuck about your candle, son. This, you. Fucking yelling from the third row, one second into this show. How you fucking do this to me? What's your name, sir? Harry. Why, why'd you yell that at me? Oh. Like it's a good name, Harry. What's your last name, son? Where are you from? from North, Queensland. North Queensland. Can you fuck off back there, please? <laughs> so, uh, how you going? Sorry, no, sorry for that. But, uh, how it starts apparently. Every night it starts like that. My name's Franchi, I'm from Wollongong, but I was in the city, I was walking around the city today, and this lady stops me on the street. You know, just stops me on the street. She's like, excuse me, I'm raising money for cancer. I'm like, well, this is awkward. Because <laughs> I'm a Pisces. <laughs> Come on, that's pretty fucking good. That's, <laughs> that's the best joke I got. <laughs> we just had Halloween, yeah? I don't like Halloween. Is anyone else who doesn't like Halloween? Yeah. Few people. Most people like it. I don't like it because I never know what to wear. Never. I went to a Halloween party. I want to dress as something really scary because the girl I had a crush on was going. So I want to dress as something really scary to impress her. So I went as Rolf Harris. <laughs> she did not seem that impressed. <laughs> Her little sister seemed to be into it though. <laughs> She was dressed as a schoolgirl too, it was weird. <laughs> Just kidding, that's a, that's a nice little mix of jokes there. <laughs> little Pisces joke, then roll, straight to roll. <laughs> Round of applause, who here has seen my videos online? Yeah. Is there anyone who hasn't seen them? You put your hand up. I wanted to save myself. To see you. Save yourself. <laughs> You're a little virgin, that's lovely. <laughs> What's your name, sir? Rod. Rod, okay, well, you're in for a treat. <laughs> yeah, ready. To start off, I want to answer a few questions I get asked all the time. I was get asked, why do they call you Frenchy? Are you French? Do I fucking sound French? <laughs> I had a girl go to me once, she goes, you don't look French. I go, okay, what do I look like then? She goes, don't take this the wrong way. But you kind of look like a hotter version of E.T. Another girl hears this, goes, I don't think you look like E.T. I go, fucking thank you. She goes, no, you look like Sid the Sloth from Ice Age. <laughs> and then I watched Ice Age, I'm like, oh, that's pretty fucking accurate. Because <laughs> I got this online profile, I got this YouTube channel, I got this Facebook page. People think it's okay just to troll me, just to tell me shit I look like. And it's got to the point, well, I've heard it all. Everything I've heard, you know, like Gumby's Ugly Cousin, uh, what else is it? Goldfish on meth, Shaved Big Bird, Ellen DeGeneres if she grew up next to a nuclear power plant. <laughs> but I got, a, I got a good one the other day and um, I screenshot it so I can read it out to you. I'll do it justice. In the first half, I'm like, yeah, okay, maybe. In the second half, he just loses his mind. So this is it. You look like Draco Malfoy from the Harry Potter movies. If he did ice and was raped by the Pope. <laughs> What is that? <laughs> How do you look like you've been raped? I'll never get raped by the Pope, okay? I've hit puberty, I'm too old. <laughs> <laughs> so I just got back from Edinburgh, I did some shows over there. Did 26 shows. Yeah, me. Woo, you're a legend, Frenchie. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> But started off, my very first show there was the most awkward show I've ever had, the most awkward start to a show. 
even worse than this one. I'm going to tell the story. So I walk out on stage. I was fucking excited, ready to do it. Second row, there's this group of lads. They're on their bucks night. So they're fucking hammered. By 10 at night, they are hammered. Yeah. And, no. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's like that sort of drunk, but like even drunker, okay? So get to that level. Have a few more shots, Harry, pass out, please. Okay, I would love that. <laughs> so they're hammered. They start yelling stuff out at me. One of them yells something about his cock. And I go to him, I go, mate, odd heckle there. <laughs> Why are you yelling about your cock? He goes, well, it's just so fucking good, isn't it? I go, I don't know. I haven't seen your cock. But if it's so good, why don't you prove it? So he gets up on stage. And he's a big lad, he's like 30 years old, he's got muscles. He's standing there looking at me going, you know I'm gonna do this. And I'm looking at him going, you won't do it. He did it. Pants down, underwear down, cock out, and it was a fucking weapon. It was like the best cock I've ever seen. It was like fucking put a hole in the ground. I was like, holy shit. That's amazing. And part of my mind's there going, there's an adult cock on stage. Can I get in trouble for that? <laughs> and then the other half of my mind's like, fuck, it's a good cock though. It's a, it's a really good one. <laughs> and I got on with the show. I'm like, okay, I think you got away with it, Frenchie. Don't worry, let's get on with the show. 20 minutes later, talking to these guys in the front row. There, there was five guys together. Go, How you going, mate? What do you do with yourself? One of them goes, we're in high school. Oh, how old are you? <laughs> He's like, oh, we're 15. 15, part of my mind's like, you can definitely get in trouble for that. <laughs> and I remember when, when it happened, cause they were like covering their eyes and shit. And I was like, ah, oh, you fucking homophobes, just a cock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it makes sense, they were 15. Part of my mind's like, oh, yep, yeah, you're gonna get in trouble for that. Other half of my mind's like, fuck, it was a good cock, though. <laughs> I'm not even angry about it. Sweet, now let's find out who's in the front row. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> How old are you? 14. 14. <laughs> you ever seen a cock before? Because <laughs> you're about to. <laughs> Where are you guys from? Sydney, what part, mate? Uh, I'm from Northbridge. Northbridge, I don't know where that is. Where's that near, mate? You looking at her? <laughs> in, where, is it, I, I, wanna, I wanna say north. <laughs> is it north? Where's it near? North of the bridge. North of the bridge, good stuff. So is this your older sister you came with? Yeah. So what's your name? Ash. Ash. This is your older sister, what's your name? Kia. Kia, and is this your boyfriend? There we go. What's your name, sir? Jordan. Jordan. How long have you guys been together? Eight months. Eight months. Ooh, so I was just getting to that point where I was like, ooh. <laughs> 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 so you don't actually like sex. Fool <laughs> 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 <Ooh>, me. <laughs> I always get asked how I got into comedy, how I got into YouTube, which is a better question. Because no one starts off from high school like, oh, I'm going to be a YouTuber. That's not a thing. So I start off, I was working in a nightclub down in Wollongong. Round of applause, I'm just getting you involved. Who here has been to a nightclub? Yeah. Round of applause, who here has spewed at a nightclub? Yeah. I used to clean your spew. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you <yous> all. <laughs> Round of applause, who here has gone to a nightclub and taken a piss in a cup next to the dance floor? That doesn't surprise me, you boys, not at all. <laughs> not at all. I used to, that was a real one I got, it was a piss in a cup, and um, I picked it up and, I'm like, and I thought it was water. I didn't, I didn't drink it. <laughs> but I got it all in my arms when I tipped it out, I'm like, oh, that's some warm fucking water. <laughs> Round of applause, who is going to a nightclub, going to the guy's bathroom and taking a shit on the floor? <laughs> They're discussing it. They're like, did we do that? <laughs> Just a human shit in the middle of the guy's fucking bathroom. That's a night ruiner, that one. 2 a.m. I walk in there, I'm like, ah. Oh. 
There's a toilet, there's a urinal, there's a sink. Fucking pick one, please. <laughs> I was a glassy at this club. If you don't know what a glassy does, pretty much all I would do or not, I would walk around and look for money on the ground. <laughs> it's all I did, like 20 cents, bang, 10 cents. Pick that up, five, five cents, yeah, I'll pick that up too. <laughs> I'm not a cheap, I'm a hustler, you know? <laughs> well, I, while I'm doing this, the bar girls in our club and every nightclub you go to, they get a shitload of tips. And I asked one of the girls, I go, how do you get so many tips? She's like, oh, we're just really friendly. <laughs> Bit of a hussy too, aren't you? Because <laughs> the biggest flirts will get the biggest tips, yeah? And the girls know this, good on them, but they're just at the bar some nights. Like, hey, can I help you? With anything. <laughs> So, yeah, I just want a beer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shh, whoops. Too much head. I always give too much head. <laughs> this beer tap looks a little bit dirty. I better clean it. Anyway, want you change? <laughs> Poor drunk guy, the bar doesn't stand a chance, does he? <laughs> no, I'll fucking keep it up. <laughs> I don't even want that. Forty-seven dollars. <laughs> oh, twenty cents. Yeah, I'll get that. <laughs> I like working in a club. One of the annoying things is they play the same shitty top forty dance music over and over, which drives you crazy when you're working there sober. And the song that used to annoy me the most is that Fat Man Scoop song. You know, you got a hundred dollar bill, put your hands up. Fifty dollar bill, put your hands up. And the bar girl's like, yeah, I got tip down here. I mean, the glasses are stuck there waiting for the... You got a 20 cent coin you found on the ground, put your hands up. You got a human shit you found in the guy's bathroom. <laughs> I got that. <laughs> Fuck, nightclub bathrooms are disgusting, aren't they? And here's the thing. I reckon the girls and the guys' bathrooms are equally filthy. You might not know this, guys, but girls' bathrooms are gross. Yeah, equally. Equally, exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Parrot. Just repeat that shit. <laughs> <laughs> equally gross, just in different ways. You go into the guys' bathroom when it's really busy, it's a piss fest. There is piss everywhere. It's like Kendrick Lamar swimming pools of piss, you know? <laughs> it's like toilet seat, piss. Wall, piss, floor, human shit. <laughs> girls' bathroom's different though. You go in the girls' bathroom in a nightclub when it's really busy, toilet paper everywhere. There's so much toilet paper. Like, drunk bitches hate trees. I used to have to go in there to clean them, yeah? And I was, every night I was surprised at the mess in those bathrooms, you know? There's toilet paper, there's bottles, there's cups, there's spew, there's tampon stuff. There's a drunk girl crying in the corner. <laughs> there's always a drunk girl crying in the corner. <laughs> it's like, oh, why doesn't he love me? Because you cry in the fucking bathroom. <laughs> Put a smile on your face, get back out of the dance floor. <laughs> so I used to have to go in there to clean them, yeah? <laughs> and because I'm a guy, and because the girls were drunk, they would lose their fucking mind. Think, oh, there's a boy in here. Caviar Fanny's girls, he's looking through the cracks. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> One time I did that. <laughs> That's all they talk about. I had a girl in there once, she was hammered, she was maggot. She's there going to be going, You're lucky, aren't ya? Lucky boy, getting to be in here with this. Lucky boy. As she was saying this, I was sweeping up a used tampon. <laughs> Not mighty fucking luck, is it? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm heaps lucky. <laughs> Usually I have to dive through the dumpsters for these things. <laughs> <laughs> Got another one, boys. <laughs> We're eating tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Too far? Because <laughs> it's going to get worse than that. Do you want me to explain that one to you boys? 
got it? That's a joke. Don't eat tampons, okay? <laughs> when you find out what they are, don't eat them, okay? Used ones. Of, just because it looks like tomato sauce doesn't mean it tastes... Oh, okay, that's, that one's too far, that one. <laughs> Here's what I want to talk about, okay? Why is it okay when it's really busy at a nightclub? Why is it okay for the girls to pee in the guy's bathroom? Socially acceptable, I think it's double standards. And sometimes it annoys me because the girls are so drunk, they don't realise they're doing it with this drunken arrogance, like they're entitled to being there. You know, they cut the whole line straight to the cubicle. They're like, who's in there? Get the fuck out. I need to go. Get the fuck out. Oh, cover your tiny cocks, boys. There's a lady here. And don't you look at me through the cracks. Don't you look at me through the cracks. And me and my mates will be at the urinal and we'll all be thinking the exact same thing. Should we piss on her? <laughs> we usually don't. <laughs> I think it's double standards. What if I did that one night? What if one night I'm like, fuck this shit. I'm going, girls. <laughs> Just cut the whole line, like, sorry, ladies, gotta take a shit, eh? <laughs> Who's in there? Get the fuck out, I need to go. Oh, cover your mangy moots, girls. There's a gentleman here. <laughs> don't you look at me through the cracks. Don't you look at me through the cracks. I'm just kidding. I'll shit the door open. I don't give a fuck, eh? <laughs> Come play battleships. <laughs> Double standards. Girls, if you do want to pee in the guy's bathroom, that's fine. Just do it nicely. Maybe do it like this. Come in and be like, hey, boys, um, there's a really long line. Is it cool if I go in here? Try not to look at your cocks, but it's hard because they're just so fucking massive. <laughs> Can I pee in here? Of course, we'll be like, yes, that's fine, you know. Wait your turn, then you can piss in the urinal like everyone else. <laughs> We're not animals. <laughs> Watch out for that shit, by the way. <laughs> that's still there. <laughs> you see some things in nightclub bathrooms, yeah? You see some things. Three weeks into working there, I was in the guy's bathroom and I noticed in that crack under the door, the gap under the door, I was like, oh, there's too many sets of legs for that cubicle. What's going on? <laughs> That's why I looked through the crack. <laughs> there was a guy in there, he was standing up. There was a girl on her knees, but she wasn't praying kind of thing. <laughs> she was choking on cock kind of thing. <laughs> and I didn't know what to do because it was three weeks into working there. I didn't want to be a cock block, did I? So after I had a quick wank, I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> So I decided, this is a true story, I decided I'd go get another glassy, see what he thought I should do. By which I mean I got all the glasses in the club and the guards and they all came into the bathroom and we had a fucking party. <laughs> nah, one of them went to the door, he's like, what are you doing? Get out, get out. Bit of ruffling, they opened the door and um, the guy, being a guy, like walks out trying to high five us and shit and the girl was so embarrassed. I've never seen a girl's face go so red so quickly which was impressive because of all this white stuff on her. <laughs> like she must have been painting or something. And I, felt, I felt bad, so I, um, I put my phone away. And I, was, <laughs> and I was like, see you at home, sis. <laughs> my sister hates that joke. <laughs> I stop saying, I'm like, well, you shouldn't have been in there then. <laughs> <laughs> so then I got fired from that job and I got my career job. Does anyone here know what that was? Teacher, a lot of people know that. Yep, I was a high school teacher. <laughs> How fucked is that? <laughs> That's the worst thing you're gonna hear tonight. You hear one of my jokes, you see one of my videos, you know I should not be allowed around children. <laughs> I could have taught you guys. Do you guys have good, do you have good, Coromel High, I taught there. We used to call it Criminal High, didn't we? Have I taught you, sir? Yes, you have. yes I have. I'm going investigating. <laughs> How you doing, sir? Oh, no. I can do that now, okay, yeah, we're good. <laughs> Sorry, what's your name again? Uh, Keaton. Keaton, what year did I teach you? Uh, year nine. Year nine, and what are you doing yourself now? Uh, getting into uni, just finished school. Getting into uni because of my teaching, maybe. 
not bad. You actually told me if I subscribed to your channel that I wouldn't have to do work in your class. <laughs> I did say that, I remember that. I think I had one lesson, I don't know if it was yours, and they're like, we're not doing work to you, put on one of YouTube videos. I'm like, fuck it, shut the door, put the lights down. I just got some views up. I went through all of them, I think. <laughs> what subject did I take you for? Science. Science. <laughs> <laughs> that sums it up. I, I was not a science teacher. <laughs> I was trained in PE and health and I'm taking in for science. What else? I took Japanese for a bit. Don't speak Japanese, do I? <laughs> it's, that's what, because I couldn't get a full-time job, I was doing substitute teaching and that's why it's so fucking hard. Four years I trained to be a PE teacher. I'm teaching science, I'm teaching Japanese. What I did is, you know what every good substitute teacher does? Just fucking chuck on a movie. All my YouTube videos. <laughs> and you try to make it like a related movie so they learn something. Like for Japanese, I'd put on a Jackie Chan movie. <laughs> Found out later, he's not actually Japanese, is he? <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> history, I'd put on a history movie. English movie, woodwork. Do you know how many movies have wood in them? <laughs> yeah, a lot of pornos, yeah. <laughs> But you guys, you'll be pleased to know, some of you guys might already know this, I'm not teaching anymore. Yeah, <laughs> you people relieved, you relieved parents in the audience. I'm not teaching anymore because my license is suspended. <laughs> Big surprise. <laughs> they suspended my license because of one of my videos. They said it wasn't appropriate for a teacher or role model to make, which I think is fucking bullshit. <laughs> Who's with me? There's a few people with me. It's a lot of people. It's like, oh, it's pretty fucking fair. <laughs> Here's why I think it's bullshit, okay? Here's why I think it's bullshit. I was trained to teach PE and health. I was supposed to teach about sex, puberty, and some other stuff. Okay? I'm supposed to teach about that stuff. Then I make one video in which my character, not me, my character, accidentally goes down on a girl on a period and gets all this blood around his mouth <laughs> and that's inappropriate? Kids should know not to do that. <laughs> For real, it tastes metallic, it tastes like rusty coins, don't do it. It's like, ah, oh. it's like licking out a robot, it's like, ah. Oh. <laughs> don't do it, boys. <laughs> Yes, I'm not teaching anymore. So I'm not supposed to tell any teaching stories, but you guys came all the way out and um, I don't really give a fuck about getting my license back. So I'm gonna tell you one. This story is called The Day I Scarred a Kid. Yeah, not a real happy title. No, it was just mental scarring, that shit's fine. This kid, he was a mucking up for me. He was, he was a nightmare. Let's call him Jason, because that was his name. <laughs> We're filming this too. Jason, <laughs> get ready for this story, mate. <laughs> I was on a two-week block at this school. I was, I don't know, I was teaching, just substitute teaching. And this kid, Jason, is mucking up. The whole first week, it's his mission just to annoy me. And I want to say right now, I would never hit a kid. I would never hit a kid. But you know how you might, like, trip one down the stairs? Because <laughs> they'll never know. Busy, recess or lunch, you sneak up behind them, you're like, catch a gun. <laughs> Like you'll never get in trouble for that. How's he gonna, oh yeah, Mr. French tripped me down the stairs. Like, sure he did, Jason, yeah. He's an adult, he's not gonna do that fucking wood, 100%. 100%. So, this is the kid I'll do it to. I didn't have to, because I left. So, first week he's mucking up, then last period on a Friday, term four, he starts mucking up again. Everyone knows last period on a Friday, you shut up and watch Jackie Chan do his thing. But he couldn't do this. So he's at the back, he starts playing the penis game. If you don't know what it is, it's when you and a mate yell penis louder and louder, whoever yells the loudest wins. He starts playing this game by himself. <laughs> sort of kid I was dealing with, okay? So he's at the back, thinking he's the funniest guy in the world, he's going, penis. <laughs> penis, <laughs> penis. And I cut, I go, Jason, shut up. No one cares what you want for Christmas, okay? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, it was the best call of my life, I swear. I got a semi over that call, I swear to God. I went home whacked off thinking about that call. Oh, you fucking got it, Mr. French. So I said it, everyone laughed at him, he went quiet and, and he shut up for the lesson. I was like, okay, it's over. He's in year 10, he's old enough to get a few more jabs in him, but no, you don't want, you don't want to scar him, it's over. But it wasn't over. That's what I love about this story, it's a true story. Next, uh, next week, Monday morning, I have that class again and I'm at the desk and he comes up to me. He goes, excuse me, Mr. French. I go, what, cunt? <laughs> and I'm like, what's up, Jason? He goes, I think if you had a presence mixed up. I go, what? I think you had, you had our presence mixed up. And I had no idea what he was talking about because I'm an adult, I had a fucking weekend. <laughs> I go, Jason, I don't know what you're talking about. Please speak English. And he just looks at me and goes, I don't want a penis for Christmas. <laughs> then he backs off staring at me. <laughs> I was so confused. I was like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> and then I realised he'd obviously spent the whole weekend thinking of that situation and that was the best call he could come up with. He was probably there at dinner with his parents going, Mum, you know how Christmas is coming up? Don't want a penis, eh? <laughs> oh, but you enjoyed the last one so much. <laughs> You and Uncle Rolf had a great time. <laughs> Is that the second Rolf Harris joke? <laughs> and it's early too. <laughs> let's, see, let's see how many I can get in there. <laughs> That's what he said. That's the best call I've ever heard. <laughs> so what was your name? Emily, you fucking nailed that. <laughs> That's what he said. I'm using that next show. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> no one saw anything. <laughs> so, I got fired. So that's, yeah, so essentially, um, that's why I stopped teaching because I started making these YouTube videos and then my license got suspended and um, I couldn't really be bothered trying to get it back. So I was like, let's just try to do this. So now I'm doing live shows for the boys, for the girls. Who am I up to? What's your name, sir? Son. <laughs> I told you I don't speak Japanese, okay? <laughs> what do you do with yourself? Uh, engineer. Are you an engineer too, sir? What do you do? IT. IT. Fuck, we've got a front row, don't we? <laughs> the, Navy. the Navy, there we go. <laughs> That's something I can work with. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was going to ask, is that your girlfriend? But yeah. you're in the Navy. No, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> If you're a big fan of my videos, you would have seen this guy in a few of them. Um, some people know him as Wazza from Mullumbimby. <laughs> He's not Wazza tonight, I don't, I don't want to get you excited. He's just Zach Gervais. He's my friend um, from Wollongong. He's going to come on and do a few songs. So make him feel very welcome. Put your hands together for Zach Gervais. <laughs> <laughs> Struggling, mate. And, um, Zach, I told Zach he could walk out to any song he wanted to. Thank you very much, sir. And he chose this song, which is his own song. He's in a band, and this is his song. It's a good song. It's called On Your Own, isn't it? So you should like them on Facebook, obviously. But I think it's a bit arrogant. You could choose any song in the world, you walk out to your own song. <laughs> Don't look at me like. And are you wearing your own fucking t-shirt too? The Maze, yeah, that's his band, The Maze. You're really fucking plugging it, aren't you, Zach? How you going, mate? Yeah, I'm good. Good. What have you been doing backstage? Been sitting. <laughs> really bringing that energy in, isn't he? <laughs> what have you been up to today? Been watching the cricket, actually. Yeah. He's a storyteller. <laughs> he is. <laughs> Pictures. You're painting a picture for me, Zach. So, <clears throat> Ooh. we've got a very special treat for you right now. Oh, sorry, mate. You ready to go? Have you said hello to everyone? Hey. Sweet. Good. Nailed it. <laughs> Fucking hell. Are you stoned? <laughs> 
these actors. So we've got a very special treat tonight. Because this show's getting filmed, we wrote a new song. Well, Zach wrote a new song. I haven't even heard it yet. And um, I wanted him to premiere it tonight. So pretty much the backstory is, I love Taylor Swift. Yeah? Yeah, a few people love her. I, I've always wanted to date her. Not just to create these mad, lanky giraffe babies, but... <laughs> Mostly so she could write a song about me because every guy she writes a song about, like, fucking, they just pull, like, they pick up heaps of girls after, so I thought that'd be good for me. And, um, <laughs> so I've always wanted to date her. I'm starting to think it's never going to happen because I haven't found her on Tinder yet. I haven't found her on Grindr. I don't know where she's going to be. <laughs> she hasn't written back to any of my emails. So I told Zach, I go, pretend you're Taylor Swift. You've just had the honour of dating me and write a song about it. And so that's what Zach did a couple of weeks ago now. Is it ready to go? It's ready. It's ready to go. Is it good? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I've got a treat for you, Zach. Because I wanted to envision that it was Taylor Swift singing to me. So I got you this. It's a wig. It's not my pubes. <laughs> Put on. <laughs> I'm going to fap to this, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> that is horrible. <laughs> and the worst part is, though, like I still would. <laughs> so, Zach, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Sorry, I should say, Taylor, are you ready? I'm ready. You sound like a fucking dude, okay? <laughs> Taylor, are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> cool, sing me a song. Once upon a time, a few mistakes ago I was in a club, I let him take me home He fell asleep, he fell asleep Before we had sex I have done that once <laughs> You had blonde hair, a 12 he snapped back When you did that slug, I took a step back It was weird, 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 oh yeah and he smokes his bong when he is next to me. And I realize that he thinks that he's a tree. And I knew you were lanky when you walked in. You hit your head on the door and drove me to those places I've never been. Like Blacktown RSL, you, you were lucky when you walked in. I'm oh, but I didn't know you had long nipples. You took of me to nightclubs I've never been in. And then you passed that on the cold, hard grounds. Oh, oh, lanky, lanky, lanky. I'm not that oh, lanky, I'm like. Oh, you're pretty fucking lanky. <laughs> The saddest fear comes creeping in That you had herpes or crabs What? Or anything, or everything I don't have herpes or crabs, obviously I do not have herpes or crabs I knew you had syphilis when you walked in I don't have syphilis or any of them. Yeah, friend, she has every STI there's ever been. Oh, fucking true. So I girls don't, don't sleep you with him. Sleep with me. I don't oh, have fucking syphilis. I don't oh, have any STI. It's not happy, fucking hurt me. It's a fucking shaving rash, oh, dickhead. I told you that. Oh, Fuck it you fucking lanky. That's a shit song, right? <laughs> so here's a rude thing. Here's, well, let me find it. I, how come you're not using the pick that I brought for you? It's all good. I got one. Yeah, but I brought one all the way. <laughs> <laughs> there are many uses of a dildo. Possibly to play guitar. There's a lot of confused people in the room right now. Round of applause. Who has seen the dildo videos? 
<laughs> the Navy guy's shaking his head. Like, no, I don't know what these are. <laughs> Round of applause, who hasn't seen the dildo videos? Oh good, I don't explain it then. Pretty much, I got a dildo at Sexpo once, and um, I got in a show bag, so I didn't know it was like there was a few dildos in there, and all my mates laughed at me, they're like, yeah, you just wasted 20 bucks. I was like, we'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> and so I decided I was gonna get my use out of this dildo, and I didn't want to use it on a girl, because <laughs> I've got my own dildo. <laughs> it's like a quarter of the size. <laughs> I didn't want to use it on myself, obviously, because I got fingers. <laughs> Sorry, kids. <laughs> I forget they're there sometimes. And so I set off trying to get all these different uses of a dildo. So I would I play cricket with it, ping pong. I'd use it as a hairbrush, as a toothbrush. I'd fetch with my dog down the beach. <laughs> and then these other dogs tried to get it, and I was like, fuck, that's my dog's dildo. Keep your fucking dog on a leash. <laughs> And so I thought, I thought, Zach, I thought possibly Zach could play the guitar of this. Do you reckon you can, Zach? Give it a go, mate. Don't grab that end, fucking hell. Don't steal it. Good point. Don't steal my dildo, Zach. I'm looking at you, Navy. <laughs> it's too easy. Zach, see if you can, mate. <laughs> Look how proud he is of himself. <laughs> Put that on your resume, bro. <laughs> I, I want to have some beer. You sing it while I have some beer, mate. Today was going to be the day that they're going to throw it back to you. <laughs> By now, you should have somehow realized what you got to do. It's pretty beautiful. I'm going to film it. I don't believe that anybody I make a good feels tinder picture, the way I, think. I do about you now. Oh. <laughs> the cool thing about this dildo is that it sticks to shit. <laughs> Isn't that the best thing you've ever seen? <laughs> So I'm gonna grab this before someone fucking steals it. <laughs> Sticky one today. So this song, some of you may have seen it, you might not have. We made a film clip to it, and then we're like, oh, that song's kind of all right. Maybe we'll put it on iTunes for the lols. And it actually got to number 26 in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, it's called Friend Zone. Drop it, Zach. I'm gonna tell you all a story, it's really quite normal. I was taking my crush to my year 10 formal. She was so pretty, she made my heart melt. When she looked away, I tucked my boner in my belt. My suit was real fly, her dress is quite tidy, but what was on my mind was a after party. Place is pretty loose and not a moment too soon. Zach rocked out with our box of goon. I nodded him over and asked for advice and Zach agreed that tonight was the night. He said, Fruity Lex, you makes your sex, you drink a cup and sit next to I looked her in the eyes and I put down my cup. Everybody knew it was time to hook up, 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 up. And then she put me in the friend zone. It's not the end though. I'm still having coffee with her mom. She's gonna call me on the weekend. About a lift home, or a vast and her new man. And I don't care about the shopping or the facials. As long as she's there with me, yeah, she put me in the friend zone. Not the end though, it's not the end though. Now you're gonna hear another similar tale. I was in love with this girl, my holy grail. It was the girl next door. I've always adored. I'm like Nixon in Taken if you call her a whore. Oh, we'll find you. Though she had a boyfriend, we talked all the time. He was just a speed hump, she had to be mine. Then they had a fight over his stupid friends. That's okay for me, cause I don't have any friends. Their fight was real bad. My chance to make a move, so I bought her a puppy. Oh bro, you're so smooth. I told her all about my feelings and shit. I'm like MC Hammer, my love is too legit to quit. She looked me in the eyes, she knew what to say. But then she fucked up and asked if I was gay. It's like, you think I'm gay? Why don't you fuck me and find out? 
The pleasure put me in the friend zone. It's not the end though. I'm still having coffee with the cran. She's gonna call me on the weekend about a lift home or a boss and her new man. And I don't care about the pedicure as other waxes. As long as she's there with me, yeah, she put me in the friend zone. Not the end though. It's not the end though. Our tales are unusual. It's happened everywhere. Guys are getting friend zoned. Girls just don't care. Giving the girl flowers. Friend zoned. Picking her up from town. Friend zoned. Listen to her problems. Friend zoned. Being nice to her. Friend zoned. Having a mullet. Friend zoned. Wearing Crocs. Friend zoned. Watching Magic Mike. The friend zone. Watching her sleep. The friend zone. Sucking a dude's dick. Friend zone. Sucking your own dick. Friend zone. Friend zone. Now I'm older. I'm so bitter and jaded. I'm being friend zoned so much and I've barely been laid. But the other day I met a girl, the prettiest being. She was so nice that she made me feel feelings. She bought me a beer, said, you're the one I want, and asked, would I like to make love to her all night long? <laughs> but then I put her in a friend zone. I don't know why, though. Yeah, she was so fucking hot, and I put on an ugly onesie. We played some Twister, and, and I, I fucking got blocked myself. We ended up watching TV, we had a snuggle. I cried when she went to sleep. Yeah, put her in the friend zone. It's the end though, it is the end though. I put her in the friend zone, don't know why though. But she was so fucking hot and I put on an ugly onesie. We played some Twister and I fucking cock blocked myself. We ended up watching TV, had a snuggle. I cried when she went to sleep. Yeah, I put her in the friend zone. It is the end though. It is the end though. <laughs> um, he'll be back, I think. <laughs> but, um, maybe I'll just play a song or something, because, you know, like, I can pretty much play any song, so just call one out, you know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, another one, another one. I'm just going to do one of my songs, though. If I <laughs> we do things without thinking about the consequence. Not a saint, I care for more than just myself. So, Hey, it's fucking going, eh? Yeah. My name's Baza from Mullumbimby, New South Wales, Australia. <coughs> this is my mate Was. How you going, Was? Yeah, good. Fucking say some other shit, Was. Fucking hell. How you going? Fucking killed it, Was. <laughs> so we're gonna do two songs for ya. First song we're gonna do. Dedicated to Iggy Azagli. You might not know this, but she grew up in Mullumbimby, in little, our little town down the road from Jack and Shazza, didn't she? Was did you like it? Was yeah. We did like her, but now she's off rapping like some American chick. She's forgotten where she came from. So we decided we'll do her song the way it should be done, Bogan Mullumbimby style. <laughs> Fucking drop it, was. Yeah. First things first in the morning. I smoke my durries like I'm ballin'. Then I go pervin' on the shitters like a fucking moor. And I spit on their titties, yeah. You don't know about a cunt like this. Pack a bong and I drain that shit. Capagoon, capagoon, capagoon. Blow that sack up. You got a pillow, bitch. Drinkin' bunny straight. Never chase that. Smoke a meth like we're hanging at the train track. Pull my pants down, wear my dick out. It's like a tic tac. You should taste that. I'm freaking fancy. You should already know. I'm in the only lane. Driving my tractor down the road, yeah. I'm freaking fancy. You should already know. 
I once told an Asian, I said, go back to Tokyo. Oh, freaking fancy. You should already know. We're drinking, baby. All over my fucking baby. Thank you. You ready for this one, Was? So this is a new song. This song's about a girl I picked up the other weekend. And I thought she was a good girl. Turned out she was a secret slapper. <laughs> who knew, eh? <laughs> and originally it's done by, who is it? Mr. Weekend or some guy like that. But I think we fucking do it better. <sighs> Drop it, Was. Yeah. This is for you. You know who you are. Because I don't know who you are anymore. I've forgotten your fucking name. <sighs> Let's do it. And I know she's got a rep like me, at least I'm getting some. And she always charges quite a fee, she learnt it from her mum. But at least she's kind of beautiful when I've had like 50 rums. This I know, yeah, yeah. she's got a mo. She told him to worry about she it. She said that to me. She told him she never had sex before. She said she was a virgin. We both know that this girl is lying. Maybe lying. She told him she's dead for not a oh, 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 oh. I can't feel my dick when I'm with you. Cause your heaps loose. Cause your heaps loose. Like an old moose. Like an old moose. I can't feel my dick when I'm with you. You got a wide box. Got a wide box. Smells like eggnog. Smells like eggnog. And I know that she's a bit freaky. Keeps noodles in her bum. And she's always on the ecstasy, at least she gives me some. She thinks 50 shades of grey were well, like... Oh, I forgot that line, what was it was? Nah, do it again, okay? She makes 50 shades of grey look like it was made for nuns. This I know. Yeah, yeah. hope for show. She told him to worry about a condom. She said don't she worry told about a condom. She never have crabs anymore. <laughs> We both know that this girl is lying. Maybe lying. She told him she's dead for not a whore. I can't feel my dick when I'm with you. Cause your heaps loose. Cause your heaps loose. Like an old moose. Like an old moose. I can't feel my dick when I'm with you. You got a wide box. You got a wide Smells box. Smells like my dad's socks. Like his dad's socks. I can't, I can't feel, feel my dick, dick when, when I'm with you. you. Cause your heaps loose like a fisted goose. That's all we got time for. Thanks for coming out. Okay, okay, okay. One more thing. Is there anyone here who wants to see the slug? Fuck, I was hoping you'd say no, because this surface is a bit fucked. <laughs> okay, fuck, I'm going to slug for you just because you come all the way out. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Okay, <laughs> you might have already seen the slug, so I didn't want to do that, because I'm like, oh, he's already seen that. So I decided I would do the sexy slug. <laughs> DJ, drop it. Then she put me in the friend zone It's not the end though I'm still having coffee with her mom She's gonna call me on the weekend About a lift home Or a boss from her new man And I don't care about the shopping All the facials As long as she's there with me And she put me in the friend zone